Oh, dang it. I just made noise, and here he comes. He's going to chew up my new fornications. You leave my fornications alone, I just put him in. All right, who is that down there? Who's coming up the ramp to the rooftop? Come on, show yourself, you dirty rat. I can smell you over here, you scoundrel. Come on out. There we go. Stop right there. I see you. Now turn around. Put your hands up high where I can see them. And don't you make any funny moves. Oh, it's you. Hi. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> You're the OPB member, right? The new recruit? Yeah, okay, great. Come on up here. Come up here with the cake, boss. We've got some very important business to attend to. i got to discuss some things with you. I thought you were one of them Negans or Stanky trying to sneak up on me or something. Hey, nobody can sneak up on the cake, boss. Wow, my gosh. What are you doing sneaking up on me? <laughs> uh, okay, anyway, fall in here. Get in close. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway yeah welcome back guys to the gang z server uh first and foremost i apologize for the lack of gang z content on the channel i've just been very busy here summer's been kind of crazy and if you follow me on twitter then you probably know what's been going on in my personal life we've had some uh some tragedy here a couple of deaths in the family so uh that's my excuse and i'm sticking with it and i don't want to go into it but anyway suffice it to say that i'm back on the gang z server we're in Moscow right now. Clearly, I'm in Moscow. You can see the uh, the Kremlin off in the distance. And we have something super exciting that is uh, it's, it's actually going on right now. We're calling it the Moscow Turf Wars. Um, and I'm going to fill you in on that right now. So let's hop on down and let me show you around a little bit. We have a new base here. This is our home away from home. I'm going to bring up a map. I'm going to show you guys something. Whoop, close that new one. So let's take a look at the map right now. I'm going to bring it up. This map is something that I made originally, but Weem, a, a Negan, actually improved it. So thank you very much, Weem. Even though you're a Negan, you're not a bad fella. I don't care what they say about you. You're okay. So we're calling this Turf Wars. And you can see right here that each gang has a specific turf in Moscow. So we had to evacuate our bases thanks to Generic B doing some kind of mad science back at his base cooking up some kind of concoction to kill all the other gangs apparently and all it did was um hold on apparently it created a an extension of the dead zone and the dead zone encompassed all of our bases and we had to evacuate and that's what we did yesterday in fact i recorded an evacuation with some of the opb members uh we had ty we had dow we had chief and we had lapis and we evacuated the base um, and we came here to this office building where we moved in and it looks like while I was away last night It looks like we have some uh, some some very industrious OPB members putting up some Defenses and moving right in but anyway the point is that recording that I did yesterday um, Had some issues with my voice. It wasn't recorded So I'm gonna have to scrap that and that's why we're we're doing this right now to fill you in on the details so turf wars what is it it's essentially a means to get all the gangs together here in moscow tight and up close and personal so that we can have some more spontaneous pvp encounters that is the goal that's the purpose and i think being this close together we're going to have quite a bit of pvp um, as a result and again that's what we're hoping for here so um anyway what we did yesterday the evacuation was um, something that we had to do very quickly. We had about 15 minutes and we could only bring out of the base what we could fit in our pockets um, You know your backpack and your pants and your shirts and all that and one locker So here's my locker and it was on a vehicle so you can bring uh, as many vehicles as you want of course But uh, you can only bring one locker per person. So let me show you all the stuff. I decided to take so basically I took um, as many guns as I could carry at least the guns that I wanted. We got my Honey Badger, we got my Matamorez. Obviously, both are internally suppressed, which is going to be awesome here for shooting in the city. Uh, so we don't alert zombies. I grabbed my Viper, got a uh, muffler on that, grabbed my Canteen, which is super important here in the city, I think, anyway. And my gas mask and a couple of filters. And then over here, which you already saw, we got some ammo, some gun attachments, uh, scope, yada, 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 yada. My bedroll, of course and uh and a fire gotta have a fire um and i think that was pretty much it other than the clothes on my back right um now here's the rules the rules of the turf wars is we can use any guns we want you can use rare 
epics, legendaries, it doesn't matter. You can use sniper rifles, honey badgers, hell's furies, whatever you desire. We want this to be crazy PvP. Now, because of that, I've turned off PvP skill loss. So if we die in PvP, we don't lose any skills. Um, it was set to 10% originally, but I dropped it again to zero. So that will encourage us to get out there and shoot one another and not be afraid of losing experience. The other thing I changed, and this hasn't really been tested, <laughs> is... Oh, a tomato! That's nice. The Apocalypse Elves dropped off a tomato. Um, in fact, I'm not going to eat that because it's kind of cruddy. I'm going to turn it into a seed and I'll go plant it upstairs. What was I saying? Oh yeah, loss. So here's something else I did was I changed the item loss to only the stuff in your hands. So if I get killed, for example, I'm only going to drop my Zubek and my knife. Clothes stays on, backpacks stay on, all the stuff in your inventory should remain inside your clothes. But honestly, I haven't tested that, so I don't know if that's going to work. Put that seed down, you can't do anything with it in the cafeteria. And okay, we're going to turn this on and see if I can get a soda. I got a soda! <laughs> this is so great! Oh. So every gang has something very specific in their turf that gives them a slight advantage here. Or at least a, a monopoly. Or close to a monopoly. Did I have a soda? Oh, I had a soda from the other day too. Oh, nice. Um, on certain items. So if you look at that map again, you will see that, for example, the OPB, that's us, the best gang ever, has a monopoly on the medical supplies. So this falls within our turf. So we can protect it. We can essentially surround the hospital. Die, dang it, lady! Uh, oh, flamer. We can essentially put a fence or walls or boundaries, whatever we want, all the way around here to protect this area from, uh, from the other gangs. Now, just like back at home, just like our regular bases, if we find a gang member, a rival oh, gang man. member comes into our territory, into our turf, within that assigned area, right? Then they are KOS. We don't have to say anything. You can just shoot them dead. <clears throat> so, because you have to assume that they're there for no good reason. They're there to raid or steal whatever you happen to have a monopoly on, right? So let's, uh, in fact, while we're here, let's go ahead and raid this place. Take the goodies before anybody else can get it. Oh, boy. Shouldn't have jumped. Ooh. That cough syrup. And where'd you go, fella? Come on, Doc. Oh, Doc, you're supposed to help me out, not kill me. Don't you know your Hippocratic Oath and all that? Shapers, crow. Um, so, yeah, and, and PvP outside of the, of the zones is just like it is out in the world. I mean, you can still use any gun you want. You can use sniper rifles, honey badgers, whatever, to travel around in the city with. And you can shoot someone, um, but you still have to, you do have to make them aware of your presence like you do in the, like our regular rules. So, I know it sounds like a lot of rules, but it's not really. It's essentially the same rules with the exception that we can use any guns we want within our turf. That's pretty much it. Um, and we did that just so we encourage more PvP. We want to pe we want to have people running around the city, having some urban warfare, and not worried about dropping things or losing experience. So if you want to run around with your best guns, then feel free. I mean, there's a chance you're going to lose them, right? Um, but there's also a good chance that you can kill someone and take their stuff. So it's kind of a catch-22. You know, you have to make that decision. Do you want to carry around your best stuff? Or do you want to try to take somebody out? Oh, dang it. I wanted to put that in semi. Or do you want to try to take someone out with, uh, with a knife? If you think you're that good. I don't know. That's the decision you're going to have to make. Am I alone in this right now? I am. Right now, we do have a ceasefire. We've got a 48-hour truce. And that started... Did I... I loot this place. I already looted a donut shop, and I didn't get any donuts or any, anything to make the donuts. That stinks. Um, yeah, so we have a 48-hour truce. It started yesterday. It ends tomorrow, Wednesday at noon Eastern. And uh, why am I wasting this ammo? <laughs> Let's go over to the police station. Uh, and then, and then it's just it's it's uh, it's guns, guns a go go. It's there's nothing stopping anyone from killing anyone right now. There's no raiding and no killing during the truce. Period. Now, this falls in our territory, which is great because we're going to be able to get some ammunition. Some civilian ammo. Uh, dang it, looks like somebody may have already looted. Well, that stinks. And I also increased the looting. So, loot is now um, been increased 
it's been doubled. It was at, I think, 25%. I doubled it to 50%. So we should see a lot more loot on the shelves. <clears throat> Made me look foolish, why don't you? Stinking apocalypse elves. And I do believe the fire station falls within our zone as well. Let's go to the diner and get some chow. So yeah, we're hoping that this Turf Wars really encourages more spontaneous PvP. We want people to get out and scavenge. We want a reason to be out here to scavenge. Now that we're away from our nice comfy bases, loaded with food, loaded with gas, uh, loaded with all our gear, um, this is going to make things a little more challenging for us. We have to go out and find the chow. Oh yeah, and, and speaking of chow and, uh, and food, the farms, we're, we're limited now to only one planter per person. So we have, I think we have five planters right now up on the roof. I'll go over there and check it out. And, uh, in fact, I have a seed to plant, don't I? Yeah, I do. Um, and we're gonna have to grab some food right there. So, yeah, so we're limited with regards to how much food we have as well. And how much we can we can actually make within our bases. Again, and that is to encourage people to get out and loot more. Like a real zombie apocalypse. We get too cozy in our bases. We just have too much there. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, you don't even hurt me. It's a multiplayer circuit. Go ahead. Spit. Spit. Try me. Now, is there anything here in the pizza parlor? Okay, this is crazy. Maybe I just have really bad luck, but I did increase the, the spawns 50%. What I need right now is a chainsaw or an axe so I can go chop down some trees and get some more wood. Now, I need this metal to make a safe zone radiator. So we're going to do that today. I can do it! Well, let's do it right now then. Because we want to protect the cars in our garage. We have a garage outside that uh, I think Dal's been responsible was responsible for making last night and unfortunately zombies grow there oh <laughs> they grow there is that my fire I thought that was a burning zombie <laughs> yeah so zombies grow right outside <laughs> uh, they do they do grow they sprout out out of the ground in our garage and we don't want them chewing up our vehicles, so it's important that we protect those vehicles. And we're going to do that with a safe zone radiator. Everything's fair game during raids. So everything's destructible. And that includes perimeter defenses, barricades, uh, turrets, whatever. They can all be destroyed. In fact, I'm going to put a link down below to the, uh, to the, to the, uh, to the rules, okay? The Moscow Turf War rules will be posted on our subreddit. The Gangz subreddit, you guys can go there and check it out, um, so you can be clear on the rules. Safe zone radiator, crafting three, I can do it, and we want to put it. So how about up here? Looks like we're good up here, and I think this is about as close to the uh, the garage as we're gonna get. It's right to the right of me through this wall. Hopefully that's working. That's not straight. It's gonna drive me crazy and everybody else. Um, Let's have the point toward me. I need to see the stuff. Is any goo coming out of this thing? Is it working? Oh yeah, it's working. You can see it. The uh, the radiation, the safe radiation coming out of it. Keeping all the zombies at bay. And unfortunately, the apocalypse elves too. So we're not going to get spawns in here. But I'm not sure what spawns in here anyway. Not, nothing fantastic. Let's go around, take a look at the garage. Oh, here's the garage. Got a nice metal... That metal? metal garage door very nice and it should be all blocked off we have alleys back here right but it looks like somebody's blocked them off very nice and again right now we pretty much only have birch to work with oh this is great i can jump right up top here oh this is so cool guys look at this oh the catwalks can you imagine the fights we're gonna have here it's gonna be insane really really excited for this turf wars i'm glad i came up with it <laughs> Uh, anyway, so here's our three vehicles that we evacuated the base with yesterday. We have Lori's Ambulance, we have Chief's uh, Earl de Ural, and this is Dal's um, Custom Vehicle. So, same rules apply to vehicles. You cannot destroy custom vehicles, but you can, you can steal them, um, you can prank us with them, you can move them around, etc., but you can't destroy them. But you can, obviously, steal, lock, or destroy them. Make sure, make sure these are all locked. And I think with that right now, my friends, I am going to start chopping down some trees. Um, oh, looks like we have maple up there, maybe, or pine. So I could go grab that wood instead. 
which is going to be stronger than the birch. We have to replace all this birch. Oh, look at this. We can even turn on the street lights. <laughs> oh, that'd be so cool. We just have to get some more power sources. Oh, this door. It's a mess. Someone's been trying to, someone tried to destroy it on us already. Probably zombies. I love that we're able to repair structures and things now. With a blowtorch. Check this out. We have a, uh, a fire escape. Isn't that awesome? Oh, no. Oh, drat. See? Here we go. I gotta take him down. I gotta take him down right now. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it before it chews through stuff. Oh, you jerk. Yeah, they're chewing, chewing through our stuff. I gotta go get rid of him. Oh, he broke in. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Is he eating a car? No. Get out of... Get... Oh. Oh, stop. Lady. Oh, no. <laughs> what of Lapis's boxes. It looks like it only had a rake in it. What the heck is that sound? It's Gentleman James. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, it's too bad there's a ceasefire because I would like to shoot him. Oh, he's getting chased by a flamer. He just drove by. He just I don't know where he went. By the way, one of the rules is we can leave the city. Um, and standard rules apply once you've left the city. Standard PvP, PvP rules, that is. That means you can bring any guns you want, but for PvP, you still have to use the greens. The common weapons for PvP outside of Moscow. But again, within Moscow, use anything you want. Oh, ammo in the street. <laughs> Gentleman James must have run over a cop. That's awesome. I'll take it. Ammo's at a premium. So fortunately, we have a police station. Did he go in there? Or is that a, a zombie I whacked? I think that's a zombie I whacked. Yeah, so anyway, it's fortunate that we have a police station in our turf. So we can protect it from the other gangs. What the heck? Did I just see a zombie come flying to my window and smash into it? I think there's somebody out there. Yeah, I see a light. Who's out there? I can smell ya. Is that a Stanky or a Negan? Look at this guy. Trying to be all tricksy out there with his gun. We have a ceasefire till tomorrow at noon. Oh, watch out for that. Oh, that's great. Love your monocle. How'd you get that monocle uh, over the gas mask? That's That's some talent you get there. Cat got your tongue, pal? What do they do for initiation over there? With the stankies. They cut your tongue out or something? Oh, yeah, he's in the chat. <laughs> Having a one-sided conversation. <laughs> Ahoy there, oh. sir. Oh, oh, I hear something. It speaks. Your tongue grew back. That's nice. There we go. I don't know what was going on. Apparently, there's some sort of uh, anti-voice force field over here. You UOPBs got some strange technology occurring here. We have more than you know, GG. But I can't let you know the secrets. Now, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to put you down. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't put me down. What I need to know, though, is what are you doing in Moscow? This is my city. <laughs> You should ask your boss, that generic bee feller. We're here because of him, him and his mad science that he does down in the basement over there. I don't know what he cooked up. I'm sure it had nothing to do with our beautiful and glorious... Well, according to the, the word on the street, we're all here because of him. Expanding the dead zone or some such. So now we gotta live in the city. Well, you just found yourself inside of some pretty bad territory there, old man. This is my city. I put a stake and claim in here years gone. Them's fighting words, pal. Come back tomorrow at noon and tell me that. Oh, I will. I'll be <laughs> back. You're lucky there's a cage in between us right now. 
You in that weird worm you got on your shoulder. I'll eat it. Don't talk like to, to goose like that. What's his name? Oh, that's right. It's Goober. My belly is food. That's his name. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow at noon, old man. You better sleep with one eye open. Oh, them's fighting words. See already? This is great. This is exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for spontaneous encounters with uh, members of the other gangs. So we can uh, either role play or trade or just shoot them. Straight out shoot them. Anyway, what am I looking for here? Um, I need... I need barricades. Duh. Yeah, so I want to put... I put a window shutter. Fortif fortifications. I need fortifications. That's what we need. We now have a fortification. And this will go right in the window. Um, we kind of want to leave a little space so we can shoot out. And these things are expensive. That's probably why we're not making them. Seven planks for one fortification. Seems like a lot. Oh, dang it. I just made noise, and here he comes. He's going to chew up my new fortifications. You leave my fortifications alone, I just put them in. <laughs> Let me fix that. Oh, what the? Dip, 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 dip. Hold your fire. What's he shooting at? He breaks the uh, he breaks the, the the law. He's gonna have to pay. We'll put him in. We're gonna have to have a prison. All right, that looks a little better. Just like a stanky shooting at zombies in a full moon with the gun that goes bang instead of a silenced one. Well, I feel safe right now, unless there's a ricochet or he pretends he's shooting at a zombie and he shoots me. I Oh, man, he's making a lot of noise. Oh, Gentleman James, mauled by a zombie crawler <laughs> in Fox's eye. Is that a trick question? <laughs> that poor boy needs a lot of help. Shooting off his gun in the full moon. Ding dong. All right, let's... Um, I need to go put some stuff away here. I, I Obviously, I need more storage space as well. I might just have to make a birch box for now. Well, might as well make myself comfortable here if this is going to be my home away from home for a little while. <laughs> there we go. A couple of nice counters. And do I have any? Oh yeah, I've got my birch wardrobe here as well. Okay. There, i got some storage space. That looks beautiful. All right, excellent. And with that, my friends, we are going to call it quits because I am out of time. So we're going to say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Good night. We'll see you next time. And it's good to be back to Gang Z. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next time. Bye, bye, good night.